Welcome to the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. It's hard to believe, man. You think about it two days ago. Two days ago marked three years to the date that Josh Heupel was hired, brought in at the University of Tennessee. Uh, this is directly from the Wikipedia page. Heupel named the 27th head coach at Tennessee on January the 27th, 2021 in his first season. Led the Volunteers to a Music City Bowl appearance in a final record of 7-6. and six. Uh, Also won the Steve Spurrier First Year Head Coach Award for the second time, sharing those honors with Shane Beamer. And, you know, you look back to that first year, you think about when Josh Heupel walked in the building. All the mass exodus of players. NCAA investigation looming. We're at rock bottom. That coaching search. What a disaster of a coaching search. You're, you're waiting. Who is willing to come in and take this job and pick this team up when they are at rock bottom? We as fans we're jumping on YouTube. We're talking about it. We're saying six, seven-year rebuild. How in the world are we going to bounce back? And you look back to that first season, getting bowl eligible. And, and remember your mindset at that time as Tennessee fans. All we wanted to do was get bowl eligible. And here we are three years in. That just seems like a thing of the past. That's what we're going to do. It's who we are. We're going to play in the postseason. We're going to play in a bowl game. Now we're talking about in 2024, college football playoff or bust. I love going back to this. Vol Football Twitter put this out. Three years ago today, something special started. Words to actions, GBO. I love what Josh Heupel said when he walked in that first day. Let's take a listen to this video. I'm standing up here today, and you guys don't know me. I'm talking, and they could just be words. As we move through this process together, you guys will find out that my words are going to be my actions. We come in here to eat our ass off every day. We can do special things. This is just the freaking beginning yes, of our journey. 18 months ago or whatever it is now, it didn't look like that. It didn't look like that at Ball Walk. You guys freaking built that thing, man. And it's not, and it's not hey, it ain't just freaking wins. It's how you freaking play for each other. For the rest of your life, you guys should know this. If you guys make a choice to go do something, you're good enough to do it as long as you give everything that you have every single day, man. So there's nothing that's impossible in life. The Tennessee Volunteers are the champions of the Capital One Orange Bowl. Winning is two-year span in two decades for this Tennessee program. Our future Started today. Two winningest seasons in two decades. Boys, let me tell you something. That's what leadership looks like. Leadership walks into the room and says, what do you need from me? And that's exactly what Josh Heupel did those three years ago. And then you see the tone change, right? You see the buy-in. We talk about culture all the time. But think about that first group when Josh Heupel walks in. Never know this, seen this guy before. You don't know who he is. He sits down and he says, just trust me, believe me. I'm going to walk alongside you and we're going to do this together. And now we are seeing Tennessee football back where it belongs. We're going to talk about it just a little bit. Do me a favor, as always, smash that thumbs up just below this video. It's quick, it's free, it's easy, it helps the channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, also, if you're new to the Talking Balls Network, welcome. We're not experts, we're not insiders, uh, we're not media. We don't talk at you here, we talk with you. This channel is for the fans, by the fans. If you like what we do, make sure you subscribe. Click that bell for notifications. You're not going to miss out when we go live or when we drop a video. Going to be live Tuesday night, tomorrow night, like I am every Tuesday night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll play some NCAA football, but we will talk all things Tennessee football also Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Coach J versus Coach Rice, live film breakdown. They're each breaking down a kid in the state of Tennessee for the class of 25, and you, the audience, are going to vote who does a better job. Who has the better prospect, Coach Rice on offense or Coach J on defense? That's going to be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time, so make sure you tune in for that. But let's talk a little bit about Josh Heupel. 
right, he comes in, NCAA investigation hanging over his head. Also, you got to somehow keep this class of 2021 together. Uh, he managed to do that, and, and when you go and look at that, that class, uh, they finished 19th in the country, according to On3. You had a lot of players on that team. I mean, some of your top-ranked players, Aaron Willis, no longer here. Caden Salter, no longer here. Cayman Marley, no longer here. Walker Merrill, no longer here. Julian Nixon, William Parker, Deshaun Rucker. You guys see what's going on here? Most of those guys in that class of 21 are no longer here. But you look at what Josh Heupel was able to do in that transfer portal for that first cycle. I've said it time and time again on this channel. I believe that NIL and the transfer portal are kind of what helped Josh Heupel rebuild this thing quicker than we kind of expected. That first cycle, uh, a guy that's no longer here, but Brandon Turnage came in, added you depth in the secondary where you needed it. Uh, Caleb Trimbley, Tyon Evans, a guy that, man, man, I wish Tyon Evans would have stuck it out here. I wish he would have put his nose down, gone to work, and stayed at Tennessee. What a player. But you also added Joe Milton, Hendon Hooker, Kamal Haddon. You added so many players in that first class via the portal that gave you an opportunity to go out and compete. And again, year one, we're at rock bottom. We're, we don't know what to expect. Oh, it's going to be fun. We're going to score points. But you go out and you win seven games in year one. And then year two, 2022. I mean, what, what a ride that was. Nobody expected that. I mean, you're talking about year two. You're going to go out and win 11 ball games. Nobody, nobody in this fan base expected that. And that's when we started to see exactly what Coach Josh Heupel could do. You go out and you beat Alabama. You go out and you beat Florida. I mean, you come out. After the first few weeks of the season, when the polls come out, you're number one in the college football playoff rankings. And, yes, you dropped the game to Georgia. Of course you did. Everybody was losing to Georgia. That was during their powerhouse run. They still have that powerhouse run. I was talking to somebody at a high school basketball game last week. They're the best team in the country this past year. Period. End of story. I don't care who played in the college football playoff. I don't care who won the national championship. Georgia was the best team in the country, and they sat at home. And I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I, I enjoy when Georgia sits at home. But, again, what a magical ride 2022 was. And then you also look at recruiting, right? You look at the class of 23, Josh Eiple's second full class. That's when you go out and you sign Nico. You get your guy, you get your quarterback. You know, the prior cycle, Josh Heupel signed Taven Jackson, and I thought that was going to be the guy. Josh Heupel went out, got his guy, but then through NIL, through relationships, through culture, through showing a little bit of, uh, you know, a little glimmer of hope what you're going to do here at Tennessee in that first season, you're able to go get Nico in the boat in the class of 2022, uh, and we're off to, excuse me, the class of 2023, and we're off to the races. Again, what a fun ride, and I, I tell you guys this, Get ready. Get ready because 2024 is going to feel a lot like 2022. And I know some of you don't believe that. Some of you leaving the comments saying uh, you got to prove it on the field. You need to shut your mouth. Stop talking about it. Well, I get paid to talk about it. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it. And it is my belief that this football team is going to have the capability to go out and make a college football playoff. That's what I believe. Now, will that happen? We're going to find out. They're going to get the opportunity to go out there and prove it. But I think what you've done with your roster going into year four has you set up to make a run. You got to go win the games, obviously, right? You look back at 2023, it didn't go the way we expected. I mean, you dropped a game on the road to Florida. Uh, you dropped a game on the road at Alabama where you had a two-score lead. You had every opportunity to go out and win that football game, but that's why you play the games. You had the implosion at Missouri. 2023 kind of felt like we were on cruise control, that we were just waiting on 2024, that we were waiting for the Nico era to begin, and the Nico era is here. And again, what you've done via the transfer portal, the guys that you've added, the number one tight end in the portal, going and getting Lance Hurd, absolutely huge. That's an upgrade. Gerald Mincy, send him to Kentucky. We'll bring in Lance Hurd. That is an upgrade at the tackle position. You talk about John Campbell. What a teammate. What a teammate. You guys You guys go get Lance Hurd. I'll jump over to the right tackle position for my final year at Tennessee, and let's ride. These guys want to play for Josh Heupel. They want to play with Nico. They understand that we're getting an upgrade at the quarterback position. Boogie, what about the defense? Oh, the defense is going to be terrible. They're going to be awful. This defense has gotten better year in and year out under Tim Banks. It is now a top 25 defense when it comes to points allowed per game. And guess what? That's all that matters. I don't care how many yards you give up. I don't care how many third downs you give up. I don't care what the percentages say and the numbers and the stats. All that matters is how many points you give up a game. And you're top 25 in points allowed per game. And that's a defense that in year three, in 2023, a lot of people thought was terrible. They thought it was trash. 
Tim Banks continues to improve this defense. Nico comes in, takes over the helm at the quarterback position, and we get back to that 2022 offense. I'm telling you, boys, buckle up and enjoy the ride because 2024 is going to be the year. But I wanted to make this video because I saw that clip that went out year three under Josh Heibel is in the books. The three-year anniversary two days ago on Saturday. Love the clip. Again, him coming in and, and him just saying, what do, you, what do you need from me? What do you want from me? That's what leadership looks like. How do you guys feel? after three full years under Josh Heupel, recruiting, the portal, on-field play, decision-making, game management. Jump in the comment section. Let's talk about it. As always, smash the thumbs up on the way out the door and go check out the Talking Balls merchandise. You can pick that up at bonfire.com slash store slash Talking Balls. Uh, we appreciate all the support. That link is also in the description below. Also, we appreciate you members of the channel. You like the content, the videos, uh, the live streams, the community aspect, whatever the fact, whatever it is you like about this channel you want to keep the lights on hit that join button down below for one dollar uh you keep the lights uh the lights on around here we would appreciate that we say for the fans by the fans it is also fan funded we could not do it without you guys hope you enjoyed the stream last night when jamal wallace came on gave me a beating on madden as i expected i knew he was a gamer i knew he was a baller but jamal i love you you're a vfl you're a bit of a cheeser. You're a bit of a cheeser, Jamal. Going for it every fourth down, going for uh, going for two every time you score. But that's all right. Jamal, uh, one of the best I've ever played in Madden. It was a lot of fun last night. I think you guys enjoyed it. But that's going to do it for this one. This is the Talking Balls Network. My name is Boogie Bentley. Go Big Orange.